Hey, it's Jose Arias, and I brought back my favorite guest, Adrian Arias. Say hi, Adrian. Hi. And we just are doing our third, our, this is our 13th podcast. Um, yeah, and this is our third time doing this. Yeah, I know. I, we, we, we had a, a good conversation going before on our first uh, recording of the podcast. On the second we, one. On the second recording, and we went over the time limit. So we uh, have to do it over again, and we're, this, is our, this is our third taping. So hopefully we'll get it right this time. I need to even pay attention to the phone. No, we lost track. We were having such a good conversation that we lost track of the phone. And it was fun, but let's let's start over again, and we'll keep it we'll keep it short and try to get through all the questions as as best we can. Okay. Keep it short. Keep the answers short, and let's try to get through the let's try to get through the the, the questions as, as as well as we can, so we don't mess up again. Okay. That, all right. That cool. That sounds good. So we're gonna ask. I'm gonna ask my son a few silly questions to get his answers and see what uh, his likes and dislikes are, and um, sort of like an interview. So I'm going to interview wait, an eight-year-old. Eight, eight but my first time I did the podcast, you interviewed me. I know, but we didn't talk about, we talked about movies and stuff. Now we're going to ask, like, silly questions and stuff like that. It'll be different. Yeah. All right, here we go. If you wrote a book, what would you name the book, the main character, and where would he go? I'm going to name the main character. I would name the main character Sonic. Mm. He would be going, he would be running on a skateboard. Skate. Running on a skateboard? No, you're not running on a skateboard. That just sounds weird. Riding on a skateboard. Okay. To Disneyland. To Disneyland. And, and he had and he had lots of fun and this and that. So we'd have different adventures in Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Like the Seven Dwarfs. The the ride Seven Dwarfs. Mm-hmm. Is that one of your favorite rides? Kind of. It scared you, didn't it? You don't like roller coasters. The first time I rode I I rode it, it was really scary. Yeah, you want to ride it again? Yeah. <laughs> fine. You sound very convincing. I'm not very convincing. No, no, you, you weren't convincing there. You didn't convince me at all. I wasn't convincing. I was actually trying to get away from it. <laughs> Here's your second question, Adrian. Yes. What is your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do is go to the pool. Go to the pool. Why is that? And see the big ducky from yesterday. We'll, we'll get to the duck. Talk about the pool. Okay. I like jumping in it. Yeah, and it's hot here in and, Florida. And jumping and jumping. I usually do it all over again lots of times. And you like the, what do you call it, the cannonball? Cannonball, yes. When you cannonball into the pool. Why, you, why do you like jumping in the pool so much? And you know once I, I make my hand go forward like the snout of a shark, and my hand go up like the like the fin of the shark on top of it. Yeah. And I usually jump in like that. Oh, okay. Why do you do that? That's just how I jump in sometimes. <laughs> I did that only yesterday. That's oh. the only time I've ever done it. Well, now you like doing it over and over again. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I would like to do it all over again. If you could, I... if this, let's get to this question. If you could design a t-shirt, what would you draw or write on it? And Sonic. don't say Sonic. That was my whole entire idea. I know, but you can't say Sonic to every, every answer to every question. You got so different, I'm not different designs. Sonic every answer to every question. You, well, pick a different character if you could. A different anything you anything you would want to do besides Sonic on a T-shirt and 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 a, and a saying on a T-shirt. What would it be? That's hard. What about cows on the, on the moon? Cows in space. Cows in space. Yeah. Oh, okay. Would you like that? Yeah. It makes you laugh. Why? Why, why does cousin speak make you laugh? Uh, it only makes me laugh when my cousin Lewis does it, cause he does it so funny with the, with a little smirk and all of that. That uh, makes you laugh. Really nice. And so does Nally. Nally's there. Your other cousin. Mhm. All right. If what was what is your favorite part of your day or school or activity? Uh, going in the pool with the big giant duck. <laughs> but the thing I don't, the only thing I don't like in the duck is when we were playing in it and it flipped over. All right, for any for everybody who wants to know what the what, what the duck is about, the duck is a is a giant inflatable toy that was in the pool yesterday, and the kids were going crazy jumping on the on the on the duck, and uh, basically it was it literally had a lot of fun. It was a big duck and they were riding on it. And a big inflatable duck that flipped over. And it flipped over at one at one point, and um, they they were having a ball with it. So that's what that's what he's talking about when he talks about when he talks about the duck. And it flipped over, but I don't can't swim, so the reason I got out is because I was holding a rope. 
That was connected to the... You were smart. You were protecting yourself. That was connected to the uh, metal part. The, the stairs. The holder for the stairs. Yeah, the holder for the stairs. And was connected, tied really nicely, tied, and when it flipped over, I just pulled myself together. And, mm -hmm. and you got out. I got out. That's good. But if the story of you became a movie, how would it how would it end? Yeah, I would be a paleontologist, and I made a dinosaur that nobody ever found. You mean, you, mean you, you 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 made a this uh, you discovered a new dinosaur. And it would be called after named after me, Adrenosaurus. <laughs> what kind of dinosaur would it be? Uh, meat eater or vegetable eater? Meat eater, and it would be related to the Velociraptor. Oh wow! You like those vicious dinosaurs then? Mm hmm It has three claws. Is it? Adrenosaurus would have three claws. No. Oh, yes, it... it would be related to the Velociraptor, which had three claws. So it would be similar to the Velociraptor? Yes. All right. That sounds fierce. And do you want to know the, the Velociraptor's uh, closest relative? Sure, tell me. In real life? Yes. It is the rooster. Really? Uh-huh. Do you want to know the closest relative to the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yes, the tell chicken. me. The chicken. Why is that? Because it walks the same way. I didn't know that. I, you, tell, yeah, you, yeah, you tell me like I, I should know this. I don't know. How'd you learn I it? I told you multiple times. Oh, well, I guess I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So you, you, you're you going to have a dinosaur called Adrenosaurus. That's cool. It would be related to the rooster. Like, oh, no, it wouldn't be related to the rooster. It would be related to the... the the ostrich. The ostrich, okay. Have you seen an ostrich in real life? I they, have. Those things are vicious. They are. Like, look at those feet. And they run really fast. And look at those feet. It looks like the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex's feet, but in small version. Yeah, the clawed feet. They're pretty scary. Mm-hmm. Those things are vicious. You don't want to pick, pick up. So them. you you would have a... Your, your, velocity, your dinosaur would be called Adrianosaurus, related to the... Adrianosaurus. Adrianosaurus. It would, um... Be related to the Velociraptor and an ostrich. Yes, and you know there's a a dinosaur. The it's it looks really it looks a lot like the the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. And guess what its name is? What is his name? Sue. Sue. Yeah, it's related to it's named after after someone. His name is Sue. I mean, her name is Sue. I never knew that. Mm-hmm. It, it... Where'd they, where'd they find Sue? Uh, well, she, on, she only found it by herself. And she had a group, but she did it all by herself. And she found, uh, it was, I think it was on a hill. Oh, okay. That's your biggest dream, right? To find a, to, to discover a new dinosaur. Mm-hmm. And um, if you discover a new dinosaur, you deserve to have it named after you, I think. I think it's only fair. Adrenosaurus. And you know, my cousin says that there's a there is already a, a dinosaur named after me. Really? But I don't think it. I don't think now that I think of it, I think it's actually. I think it's actually true what he said. What did he say? It's the the name of the dinosaur. It looks a lot like the Stegosaurus, but the name of it is the Gas Tarlina. Gas. Gas Tarlina. Why? What, what are you trying to say? I fight a lot. Okay, Gas okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, all right. That's enough. <laughs> Your career is silly. Let's get to the next question. Um, if we could go anywhere in the world and couldn't, couldn't, get, couldn't use a car to get there, how do you think we could get there? I'd go to Dinosaur World mm. on a train. That, you're talking about the, the place... Uh... Dinosaur World, with lots of statues of dinosaurs. I got to, I got to see an paleon, a actual paleontologist, and I asked him a qu question up close. What was the question? When, if, when you became a paleontologist, when it was the high school that you went to, and I know... And college. The yes, college, uh, that college and high school. To, and it, you couldn't find one in Florida. 
Uh, he had to go like the Midwest, I think, uh, Northwestern, I think he said. You remember which college it was? Uh, no, but I know now he did. Okay. Because it's actually when I we'll ask when we see her next time. Yeah. If you could have any animal in the world as a pet, where would you go to get it, and what would it be? It would be the husky in yeah. Antarctica. Why do you like huskies? Because the color, I like that it's black and white combined, but my favorite color is green. Unrelated. That's unrelated, though, but... I like them because I see them in real life, and I like the colors. They're all black. Okay. And the only colors that it has is two, black and white. It looks like a wolf too. Yes, I, I think it is a wolf. It's related to the wolves, but it's, it's not a wolf. To a wolf but yeah. A wolf. The dog is a wolf. Dogs are not wolves. They're domesticated versions of the wolf, but they are related to. They're they're in the wolf family. We'll we'll talk about that next time. And fox. Yeah, that's it's related. They are related, that's right. But a lion is not. It's related to the cat. Yes, that's right. That's right. Also the cheetah. How come so cool animals are related to the cat, which is so lazy? <laughs> cat. Oh, because lions are lazy too. I get it. Well the the lioness isn't lazy. She's the one that goes out and does the hunting for the family. The lion is the king of the jungle, but he does no hunting. Yeah. He, he just lays he around just waiting for the wait, waiting for his lioness to bring him food. Well, it's the other way around. The boy does it. The girl just leaves him out. No, no. I'm serious. I'm telling you the truth. The lioness is the one that does the hunting, not not the lion. Anyway, let's. I got I got room. I got time for two more questions. Here we go. If you could wake up tomorrow with a superpower, what superpower would you want to have? Super speed. You want super speed? Yes. Why do you want super speed? Because that's my favorite superpower. What's a, what's what? What do you say your favorite? Because it's cool. <laughs> you can power of super speed too. That's true. We we both like the Flash. So yeah. I I you think. You like the Flash? I like Sonic. Oh, Flash is faster. Yes, way faster. Way faster. That's why I like him. Sonic is slower than an arrow. An arrow. Where'd you learn that? On Google. <laughs> I can't believe you used Google for that. We Google searched it. No, we actually Google searched it. Which one is faster, uh, uh, Flash, Quicksilver, or Sonic? And who, who won? Quicksilver. Quicksilver was faster than Flash? Uh-huh. I, I don't, I don't Flash think so. Flash is faster than Sonic. So, fl- uh, Quicksilver is twice the, sp- twice the speed of, su- of Super Sound. Of of sound. We got time for one more question, Adrian. Okay, dokie. Okay, here we go. If you could have any of three wishes granted, what would they be? Any, you want three wishes, what would they be? Give me three. To be like Hyper Metal Sonic, to have his abilities and to have his powers. So you want, you'd want to be a fictional character. Yeah, that would be your three main wishes. To be a fictional character, be, fa- be a hedgehog, be fast. No, Hyper Metal Sonic. A robot that is faster than Sonic. Oh, all right. I guess that. Uh, I guess that's just that's your wish. Anyway, it's a it was a pleasure talking to you guys again. We are done for today. If you liked our podcast, this is fun. Look us up on YouTube, like and subscribe. And there's a new podcast called Kids Talk. And Kids Talk is about to start soon. We just have to find time to record it with our with, with my nieces and niece and nephew. And it's going to be Adrian, Lewis, and, and, and Natalie talking about their favorite topics, just like Adrian and talked about Ivan, his topic today. And Ivan sometimes. Ivan sometimes. Our, our, my youngest is going to talk about stuff, too. So, so look, look for Kids Talk. It'll be up soon. Bye. Bye. Live it up, live it up, live it up.